Hi guys, welcome back to Jujet channel. Today we are discussing brucellosis, which is a bacterial disease which produce economic losses worldwide and it is still prevalent in Kerala and India. Brucellosis is a worldwide zoonosis causing infection called as brucellosis caused by the bacteria brucella. It was named actually after Bruce, the scientist Bruce when he discovered the brucella militensis in 1887. So these are the history. Abortus was discovered by Bang. So Bang Abortus, always the milk ring test is Bang's, Abortus Bang's milk ring test. So it is actually in the name of scientist Bang who discovered brucella abortus in 1897. Brucella suisse was discovered by Trom in 1940 and Buck 1930 developed the live attenuated strain max. That was an important point. Buck 1930 live and graduated strain 19 vaccine. So, brucella actually is a bacteria that localizes in the reproductive organs of host animals, causing abortions and sterility. Because mainly, it is a reproductive disease. Actually, it is belonging to a gram negative phylum, non motile, non spore forming rods, non capsulated. They are intracellular parasites actually they are finding the reticulo endothelial system that means the systems producing blood cells and the reproductive tract mainly affect the systems producing blood cells other than bone marrow and the reproductive tract so these are the various species that are present in the uh, nature and are affecting different types of host you can see about us melitensis so is all this Canis and Neotome. Neotome is the non pathogenic, but uh, now there are some changes in Neotome. Even Neotome is pathogenic in Desert Wood Ranch. So, this is an old table. So, there are some studies going on Neotome. So, we cannot completely say it is non pathogenic or pathogenic. So, these are the actually in, in female it will be producing abortion and in male orchitis, epididymitis, and infertility. So, mostly zoonotic aspect is present in militensis which cause Malta fever and also in abortus which is called undulant fever and also in suis that also cause undulant fever. And leading to the morphology, these are cocobacilli and non-motile and they do not have flagella, non-capsulated that means they don't have a capsule, non-sporulated that means they don't form spores and partially acid. Actually, they are stained by grams and modified zeal Nielsen due to acid or partial acid for the character. They are stained by MZN and coster stain will be used to stain the material from the cotyledonary patch. MZN stain is used to stain smears from the fetal membranes, uterine swab, etc. So, moving to the cultural character, they are strictly aerobes. That is, they need the presence of air to grow up and to sustain. And some of them need oxygen and also a small percentage of carbon dioxide. So, we call them carboxyphilic or capnophilic. Both are terms used to define organism which is having a need of carbon dioxide. Brucella abortus and Brucella ovis are the two species requiring 5 to 10 percentage of CO2. This is a very important point and you should have to pinpoint it in your mind. And now the selective media that is the media in which it can grow up to a full 100 percentage with no inhibition or resistance and which can produce its colonial characters in a very clear method. That is albumin medium and columbia agar. This was asked in previous Kerala veterinary examination. Brucella is non hemolytic that is they don't have a hemolysin toxin. They won't be breaking the RBC on a sheep blood agar. After 3 to 5 days incubation on selective serum agar that is columbia agar. Actually they will be producing a colony. I have produced a mnemonic that is SBT PGC. See SBT PGC that is the colonial character of brucella in the selective media that is S stands for smooth. B stands for bluish and T for translucent, P for pinpoint, G for glistening, C for colony. That is SBT PGC. You can uh, easily use this mnemonic to study the colonial characteristics of Brucella. Also, there is a non-selective biphasic medium used as Cassanidas medium. 
isolation of brucella from blood and other body fluids uh, they won't be fermenting the sugar actually when put in macongi agar but melitensis a non lactose fermenting melitensis strain is present transmission acts actually through venereal route mucous membrane penetration route genital tract skin mucus of nasal and oral cavity regarding the pathogenesis brucella species are facultative intracellular bacteria that have the ability to avoid killing mechanism that is they will be fusing with the phagosome and phagosomes will not be lysing the bacteria after infecting the host the bacteria become sequestrated within the cells of reticular endothelium that is reticular endothelium system will be searching for the bacteria but the bacteria is still hiding inside the reticular endothelial system and making them a fool so they both have actually they will be settling in the reproductive system in both male and female after multiplication the organism pass to thoracic duct via systemic circulation they pass to joints granulomatous fossa liver and bone marrow spleen etc the incubation period is 2 to 4 weeks normally but it can range from 5 days to 6 months depend upon the strain of the bacteria the bacterial load the health status of the animal actually the brucella has got a predilection site on the pregnant uterus why it is because the allantoic factors called erythritol which is a polyhydrohydric alcohol that is it has many oh groups in it which is a very important component which increases the growth of most brucella that is brucella can grow in a very important or a very good manner when erythritol is present actually erythritol is secreted by the allantoin and present in the placenta and male genital tract also they are present but not in humans actually it is present only in the animals and erythritol does not stimulate the growth of brucella ovis this is an important point erythritol does not stimulate the growth of brucella ovis and inhibit brucella abortus strain 19 the attenuated vaccine strain which is a very important point you have to keep it in mind does not stimulate the growth of B ovis and inhibits B abortus. A pyrogranulomatous reaction occurs in the affected placenta. That is, actually, it will be having a pus and the granuloma like lesions will be happening in the placenta. Necrotic placentitis it will be there. And abortion occurs from six months onwards. That is mainly in the last trimester abortion. Uh, whenever dogs are affected with Brucella canis, that is the main species present in canines. It leads to permanent infertility. So, symptoms in human brucellosis actually, they will be having a flu like symptoms that is, fever, chills, loss of appetite, sweat, joint, muscle pain, headache, etc. So, this is the zoonosis aspect of brucellosis. Cattle can give to another cattle the bacteria by direct transmission. And goats and sheep can direct transmission. And pigs and also dogs, they have direct transmission. And whenever People or human beings use the milk of an infected cattle or whenever he is doing the slaughter without any proper care or doing the veterinary essential caring without any proper equipment protection, incidentally, they will be having a method to contract brucellosis. So, these are the signs in human brucellosis. See, this is a small petechia, matis lesions, joint swelling. This is degeneration of intervertebral spaces in human beings. You can see this is uh, degeneration. Clinical signs in small and large ruminants after bacteremia, the infection localizes in the placenta. That can lead to abortion in the late trimester, that is third trimester. And if the animal is not pregnant, that can produce interstitial mastitis and the milk will be having large amount of bacteria. And the somatic cell count will be very high. Orchitis and epididymitis in males and whenever in cattle it is in the 6th month abortion and in sheep and goats 4th month. This is very important in regarding the MCQ examinations. Swine brucellosis is caused by brucella suis uh, which is actually also causing ambulant fever in human beings. So in horses the organism produces chronic inflammatory conditions referred to as fistulous, wither or polyvil and joint infections which is actually Fistulous wither is infection of supraspinous bursa and polyvil case okay, is actually due to supra 
lentil versa it is mainly abortus brucella abortus it is the whenever in female dogs they are infected with this brucellosis they will be having uh, the abortion at the 56th day or the 57th day or 58th day in the last trimester following abortion there is a yellow brown to dark discharge that persists for one to six weeks so macroscopic lesions we are moving to that is whenever a gravid bovine uterus infected with brucella abortus develops necrotic placentitis that is there will be a necrosis of the uh, epithelium of the placenta which leads to infection of placenta that is placentitis infection of placenta and also necrosis happening so the intercotillary space will be having a characteristic leathery appearance actually due to necrosis Placentitis, metritis in eaves and epidymitis and boards. In horses, the main lesions are fistulous, wither, and polyloid. This is the necrotic placentitis. You can see the necrotized areas. Necrotized area. See. Necrotized. Necrosed tissue, neurogranular matter, biogranular matter, fossae. This is acute diffuse fibrous pleuritis. Small, small hemorrhages. See this necrotized. This is an uh, enlarged granulomatous testicle, and this is a normal testicle. See the difference. This is a cross section. Fibrous pericarditis, this is fibrous tissue proliferation, this is actually due to the granulomatous and fibrous reaction of the brucella. Fistulous wither. See, small fistula is coming. This is fibrous coating of the lung with pleural atelic gases. Anterior voitus in dogs, which is a main symptom. These are the granulomatous inflama inflammation in testis. See, this has become very large. Diagnosis, actually, I have prepared a different video or a better video on the diagnosis separately. I have just mentioned the diagnostic techniques here, but each diagnostic techniques are mentioned in separate videos. You can see the videos. I'll be presenting the link in the description. Based on symptoms and lesions, that is actually the tentative. Then the microscopic examination actually using Machiavellos method or Costel stain. Yeah, stay or MZN stain. Then bacteriology examination, that is colonies, uh, we are taking for colonies, looking in the selective serum agar, that is SBT PGC, that is the mnemonic for the colony. Well, it is not anything mentioned in any book, this is code is prepared by me. Straw inoculation, you can see the video. Brucellin skin test, actually it is a purified lipopolysaccharide and we will be injecting into the skin and we will be checking for any hypersensitivity reaction. So the serological test, these are the serum tube agglutination test, which is the gold standard test. GST means it is actually gold standard test. And abortus bangs ring test. Actually, why it is known as bang means the scientist bang has got a role in this test. Now the Rose Bengal plate test, you can see the video of Rose Bengal plate test. Boom's test, car test, way agglutination test, revenal precipitation test. These are all the di serological diagnostic techniques. Serological test is the main, mm, best method. Prevention and control. Actually, we have vaccines. Uh, strain 19 is having many vaccines, attenuated live vaccines. That is Brucella abortus virus type 1, Bruvax of Indian Immunological Limited. One dose gives immunity up to fifth pregnancy. This is a very important vaccine. And RB51, which is a live attenuated rough strain vaccine, used instead of strain 19. And strain 19. Should not be used in pregnant females. That is a very important point. Strain 19 vaccine, Brucella abortus, strain 19 vaccine should not be used in pregnant animals. So these are the RB51 vaccine, Brucella Rev1, Retensis Rev1, abortus, strain 19, Bruvax. These are the different vaccines, Rev1, present in the market. So facts and tips, the Brucella abortus biotype 3 is commonly present in India. They are all MVIC negative, which can be asked in many entrance examinations. All Brucella are catalyst positive and oxidase positive. There are some exceptions. You can read the exceptions. And h 2 production is positive for Brucella abortus. These are some extra points which may be useful if you are fighting for or trying to find out any ICR examinations or Competitive examinations, so OI listing notifiable B. So, this is regarding the A antigen and M antigen. You see, you see the Brucella abortus has got A, so more antigen A, that is 20A and 1M antigen. Now, Brucella militensis, it has got more M, that is 20M and 1A. Actually, Brucella militensis.